Hello there, welcome to today's video. It is all about creating a audio ringtone for your iPhone or other iOS device. Now within iTunes, what we're going to do is find a music track, convert it to a ringtone and then add it back into iTunes. It doesn't take too long, the longest time is actually finding the track you want to play. Now I'm within iTunes here and I found a Tetris theme tune done by the London Philharmonic and what I'm going to do is convert this to the ringtone of my choice. Now the first step is to create the track so it's the right length. To do this, right click and select get info. I'll just drag the pane in. Now there's a little rule, it must be 30 seconds in length. So you can either do the first 30 seconds, the last 30 seconds or any 30 seconds in between. It can also be less than 30 seconds but it tends to be better if it's not. Now I've already added in the numbers but if you go to the options pane and at the bottom there'll be a start time and stop time. I started it at 40 seconds in and 55 seconds after. So this will be the straight bit into the Tetris theme. It's quite good, I quite like it. Make sure you press OK and then you can preview it by double click on it. Now the music should be playing in the background and it's relatively springy and relatively works relatively well as a ringtone. Now let's just pause that. Right, what we need to do is convert it into a format that iTunes understands. So right click on it and select create AAC version. Now this will do two things, it will convert the audio track into, into what iTunes likes and it will also make it the right length. You'll notice now there's one at 15 seconds long and the original at 3.30. Now before you forget, uh, select get info again on the original track and take off the start and stop time. This is so you can play the full length of the audio track again. Particularly useful if you use a music track. Now we have this second iTunes track. What we need to do is convert it to a ringtone. This is really quite simple. Right click on it again and select show in finder. The finder window will pop up and you'll notice there is two, uh, uh, two items in finder. You can usually tell by the size. The original one at 7 meg is the original song and the new one at 552 kilobytes is the replacement. Now we need to convert this into a ringtone. We're going to change the M4A option to M4R. So hit enter to edit the file name, change the A to an R and then hit OK or hit return rather. You'll notice in the kind it's changed from audio ringtone or audio whatever it's called to ringtone. Now if you can't see the M4R bit, right click on it and select get info again and you should be able to edit it under the name and description. Right, we have now a ringtone rather than a music track. Back in iTunes again, select the original audio track that you've changed to 15 seconds, right click on it and select delete. Now this seems a bit counterintuitive and it is. And the reason for this is that you have to re-import it back into iTunes. Press delete and then make sure you press keep file because you actually want to keep the uh, audio track and not move it to your trash. Now back in the finder window all we do is we double click on the ringtone, iTunes will open up, it will begin playing and press pause and you'll notice it's not actually in the original artist track any anymore, it is in our tones folder under Tetris theme. Now when you plug in your iPod or your iPhone rather and you can now load it as a ringtone. Quite simple, a little bit of work, you've got to sort of convert and re-add things but it doesn't take too long to do at all.